Verse 5, during those dark times, it was not safe to travel. Problems troubled the people of every land. Nation fought against nation and city against city. For God, now, now listen to this. This might hurt your theology, but you'll be all right. For God was troubling them with every kind of problem. But as for you, be strong and courageous, for your work will be rewarded. Let's just read that one more time. For God was troubling them with every kind of problem. I know we blame the devil for everything, but I want to tell you something. The devil can never do anything apart from God. The devil's just oppressing me. Huh? Oh, we're about to. The devil's just oppressing me. He is. That's right. He is. And God gave him the okay. Why would God allow problems in your life? Why would he send something to you? Mike and Michelle, he just, I don't know how he does. Maybe he just, he's so big. Maybe he just tosses like a demon. Just like. It, it, because here's the point. He wants you to want him. Everything that is in your life is supposed to drive you to him. And so the reason that I'm concerned with success in our church is because it drives us away from him. I want to tell you, when you don't have to worry about whether you can pay your bills or not, you rarely go to God and say, Lord, I need you. I need you, Lord. But when you don't know if you can fill up your gas tank, you're like, God, Lord, I prophesied in my debit card that it will go through in the name of Jesus. I don't care if it's a glitch. I will. I receive a glitch in Jesus' name. Just let it go through, Lord. Everybody's the same. Have you ever seen the people that try to pay and they pay and they're like, cards. I dropped the card. I don't know. Listen, everybody's been through the same season. But when you don't need it, when you have food in your refrigerator, you're not like, Lord, I need you. Like, I have not eaten in three days. I need you. Usually you're like, uh, refrigerator full, and you're like, I'm going to go out to eat, right? Because that's what we do. We live in America. Oh, I'd have to cook that. Mm. I wonder if Five Guys is open, right? $62 for a cheeseburger these days. Inflation. So if God is our problem, according to Second Chronicles, if God is the problem, bringing the problems into life, only God is our solution. So we kick God out of schools, right? Separation, church and state. Then we kick God out of church. We need more people to come in. We need more people. I don't know why we need more people, but we need more people. So let's just get a little less God, a little more people. Let's be a little more influential. We've all been a part of it. We're all guilty. We all sing worship songs that are about us, not about God. It's okay. God, we, we need to get them out. It's not okay forever. But if, if you've been doing it, it's fine. I believe in me. I mean, you. It's so, listen, we sing songs about us. The only reason that God is out of all of our institutions is because we have kicked God out of our lives. Verse, verse 9 says that he knows about our suffering and poverty. Okay, so he's telling us about our suffering and our poverty. Yes? yes. Why are we surprised? Why do we get surprised by suffering and poverty and trials and tribulations? Why? I have been asking our church for years. Oh, I'm just going through a trial. Oh, that was the end of the sentence. And so what? Great. You called a meeting for that? We already knew. It's a promise. I'm just being tested now. Good, me too. Do you want to, what do you want me to do? Like get you a free coffee or? I'm serious. We treat trials and tribulations like surprises. And he says, I know about your poverty. I know about your persecution. I want to ask you, why don't you know? 